being in... T I'll disseminate out the explanations, and then you guys as characters could extrapolate on that as you wish. But mm -hmm. five minutes. Cool. Just okay. Find the miners by standing yeah. in town. We know exactly where they are. <laughs> Just to be overt, player Fred, very on board with talking to crazy anarchists. <laughs> Caradoc, not so much. <laughs> player me, I'm good with anything, but also I, I was still leaning towards pharmacy because I'm interested. Yeah, same. I, I just don't know how much I'm going to contribute to conversation. I'm not the smoothest individual as a, as a person. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Need, need not is the, not the most charismatic, and I did not build Denver to be such either. I am not good at persuasion. Personally, I'm not good at persuasion. I still voted for it. Like... You and I are not the same. <laughs> Figure out who can make it, kidnap them, torture them, get the secret, kill them. Profit. Okay. <laughs> And Caradoc's like, wait, no. <laughs> I mean, these people are basically not people, so, you know. I mean, hey, hold on. Did we find an avenue? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we just have to, like, like Chris, we just have to pander to them, all right? What do anarchists want? Anarchy. How do we do that? Fuck them up. <laughs> you do the thing you do in Fallout 4, where the guy tries to hustle you for money the second you go into... Like, whatever backwater town it is. And then the dude just walks up and ships him. With these. You could power play him by beating bombs. the shit out of him, and the uh, main boss of that town is just like, hey, good call. <laughs> I'll greet them with a bomb. <laughs> with these Denver TM bombs, you too can be an anarchist. I have one. <laughs> what are Denver's bombs made of if it's not black powder? I'm back. Not black powder. They're. Uh, I have a question. Uh -huh. um, I don't know the answer for Nina because I was there for the, the the arc for getting furniture. But to the rest of you, what chairs do you guys sit in? Do you guys sit in like a gaming chair, an office chair? Oh, like real life. Okay. Um, yeah, real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I I think this is technically a gaming chair, I guess, mm -hmm. but it was like like less than a hundred bucks. Hmm. I mostly got yeah. like, you or like don't know the answer for me. I do know the answer for you because I was, I was okay. there for your game your pieces. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. I only sit at my desk uh, for my Wednesday game where we have cameras on, but it's in an office chair. Is it, okay. Is it good? Would you wreck it? I don't know if you have like a context versus gaming versus office chairs. Uh, I posted a picture crash. Like I know. Like which one's more comfortable? I guess. Okay, that's uh, the same one. I, that's the same chair I have, probably, Fred. Probably gaming chairs. Probably gaming okay. chairs are more comfortable. Uh, okay, I think it matters, like, office chair, if you pay a lot of money for an office <laughs> yeah. chair, like a really good one, then probably office chair. But mm -hmm. bang for buck, probably gaming chair. Okay. For really? cheaper. I, I saw... I was, I, was on, I was on the loo just now. I was going through the Twitter, you know. Vibing, and it's like, oh man, one of the people I follow on Twitter is like, oh my god, this office chair is so much better than a gaming chair. Y'all been living like this, and I'm just like, yes. But I was just like, is that true though? Because I've heard that as well. I was like, dude, just get mm -hmm. an office chair. But I think, I'm, I think it's more aligns with what Fred was saying. Like, if you get one of the really good office chairs, then fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. But if it's like just a random office chair, then probably not. Yeah, like I, I bought an office chair on Amazon that was like seventy bucks, and then within a month I had bought this one. Because <laughs> it's just like, just because it's an office yeah, chair does not universally bucks. make it better. You need yeah, to seventy bucks is like super low for a chair. I yeah, I, I discovered don't remember that. how much I spent on yeah. mine, but the only complaint I've... I have is sometimes my ass hurts because the cushion's not very good. You can get new cushions. Okay, so it sounds like it's not comfortable. Sort of <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Consider how like if I went to Costco and tried to buy like a jacket or a sweater that's like thirty or forty bucks, I'm like, yeah, a gaming chair or an office chair rather that's meant to last in technically years is probably if it's not even double the price of a fucking jacket, it's probably not on the high end of things. Yeah. I don't know, I was thinking about it because my my chair is getting wrecked because Tango. Um, but I was just like, if I get an office chair, I could put my gaming chair in my home office, which will give me a reason to use the home office, because right now there's like a really shitty chair that I don't use. Alright. And then, ironically enough, the gaming chair will be for the office, and the office chair will be for gaming. <laughs> I could get like a uh, Aaron chair from Herman Miller. If you yeah, Herman know. Miller, yes, that's like the, the gold standard. My buddy, yeah. his, Herman? his what? Herman! Herman. <laughs> there he is! <laughs> um, 
Yeah, my buddy, his, his wife, he, his wife works at a bank, um, at Chase Bank, and for whatever reason, they're throwing away their chairs because they're getting a new stock in. So he had he would and his wife were able to like just bring in back and forth trips, like I want to say ten Herman Miller chairs, and I'm like, dude, that's like, god damn, I'm like, that's like two grand that you just got for free. That's like a fuck ton of Herman Miller because those things aren't cheap. They're like, they're like a couple hundred bucks minimum. Oh yeah. Like a few hundred bucks on average. So I'm like, dude, you just got like 10 of them, bro. You just got like four grand for free. I guess the gas money cost him going back and forth. But I'm no, like, for free like, though. Gas money is like 20 bucks the most. Like, yeah, I'm like, what the fuck, dude? And I was like, you got any, you got any spare for your for your buddy who you've already get, gotten a job for multiple times? But hey, I can feed off you some more. Uh, <laughs> suck on your suck on your teeth, so to speak. You got any, you got any for me? He's like, no, no. And I'm like, understandable. <laughs> Talk about me trying to get inspiration from you. <laughs> <laughs> well, sounds like he's I, not your have, I have a strumpet. <laughs> what? You have a whore? Well, I, 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 I don't have one. I am. <laughs> Look at me. I Hi, Tango. You Tango. have access to a what strumpet. You never heard of strumpet before? No. A prostitute. Never heard of that. Yeah. That's because we're classy whores. <laughs> That's because I'm a classy High end whore. whores. That's what they, they call them in, um... Oh, dated humorous is, is what uh, Google Dated humorous. <laughs> I, I, I like how they gave humorous in that. <laughs> um, if I think like Shakespearean, Shakespearean <laughs> insult, Strumpa is up there. Yeah. Nah, I'm familiar. Oh, wait, that, that's the that's the sexiest instrument. No! Bring it all back, boys. I'd fuck on a strumpet. <laughs> <laughs> You'd fuck on one? <laughs> he gets another what strumpet. What the hell it's called... conversation is this? <laughs> you know what a strumpet <laughs> is, cop? A strumpet. I don't know what a strumpet is. Is that Dude, there you go. What the fuck? There you go. I right, rest my case, Your Honor. Canada just doesn't have prostitutes. Your, your Honor, I am a strumpet. Thank you. <laughs> your Honor, if you are what you eat, I'm a strumpet. <laughs> so apparently, I got one of those this morning. <laughs> no, so no, apparently, no, no, I, I heard about this recently. You had a strudel this morning. <laughs> oh, no. a What's strudel the and a crumpet. <laughs> I, can't spell I, I transmuted them together to make a strumpet. Oh I heard about this uh, earlier. Um, of just uh, in like some ancient Greek time, there was like a prostitute that was being arrested and probably executed. And to get out of it, she just flashed them her their tits and said, "It will be illegal to kill such beauty." And that's the same energy yep. you're bringing right now. Yeah, what's your point? Look at my me. point is it works. Tell me so keep going. <laughs> tell me, look at me and tell me I'm not the most gorgeous strumpet of them all. <laughs> Jokes on you! Possible. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, something going back, yeah. Yes, probably. So, uh, yeah, what, what's your guys' plan? So, this. Oh, I totally forgot. I actually forgot in the intro. Yeah, the, uh, like, they, the, the, the college. The college actually has uh, its name carved into one of like the uh, the posts, oh. like the stone posts of um, like that whole defense. You know what I'm talking about? Like okay. a big, yeah, like a big column, brick column. I will. Mm -hmm. I just copy and paste it for ease. I can find where the fuck I put it. There it is. It is called the Aesthetic Spire Vocational College. Hmm. So we'll just keep calling it the Spire because it's way faster to say. But the Spire and more fun. So, the Spire, the college, uh, is broken down into... There's one main building, which has three floors in it. There is a courtyard space in the middle, which isn't an... Uh, how to say? It's an open-air courtyard, but there's not, like, a clear ground floor that you can just look into the courtyard into, like Harry Potter shit. It's, like, in its own segregated area. There is grounds, not a garden, but grounds around the college itself. And obviously the spire is in the center of the courtyard going all the way up. The spire connects not with stairs or anything like that, but with, uh, what's the term? Banisters, bars, stone bars that connect to the other parts of the college. 
Almost like it's keeping it in place. Buttresses, that's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So, that's really it. You guys can go into the college itself and talk to the injured and ill. You guys could uh, just walk around, go on a date, I guess, I don't know. Or you guys could go outside, talk to the refugees out there, or whatever other option you guys can think of. Um, of course. Sure, uh, but do we get the the result of the uh, the the, the thirty? Oh shit! Like right, I totally forgot. Oh yeah, that's right about the miners. <laughs> totally forgot. You're all good. Thank God someone remembered. <laughs> it is my job right. to remember, apparently. All right, so these are let's start with the facts. These are miners that have food and water. They have to, or else they would die. Logically. And they all, by the report of Captain Lois and other refugees, I guess Mr. Corot most specifically, they had mining equipment that they were lugging around with them. Mining equipment in a medieval age is not like, you don't have like a mine cart, you don't have like a drill that's gas powered. No, it's a, it's a, it's a pickaxe. You have a fucking pickaxe. A shovel. You have a, you have a shovel. You, congratulations, that is your mining equipment. <laughs> In fairness, you guys don't know what dwarven mining equipment entails, but it's likely some derivative of, of that if they're walking around with it. So we know what they have in their inventory, so to speak. Mm. I'm sorry, am I boring you, cop? I'm sorry, no, you guys no, rolled no, for I'm mining. Tired from the beginning. <laughs> How sorry. dare you? How did no, Uh, so you guys know what they have. You guys know what they would need, which is food and water, ongoingly. If they didn't, if they weren't looking for food and water ongoingly, which might not be possible, given how looted the place is, right? What would be the next thing that you would want if you're in a place where you know you can't sustain yourself? What would be your next goal? A way out. A way out. Exactly. So, you know they're looking for a way out. They could just have left. Right? They could have just gone past the Renegades to the south. Maybe lose people, certainly. And that might be a factor to play into this. Maybe they weren't willing to lose people. Similar to Karadok, they have a skill set that they know. They can't just begin picking up other crafts in a hostile zone, because that's usually how you get injured or killed. So they're miners, you know that. They're hardy folk. Probably really strong, because that's just how miners are. So they didn't just walk out. So there's something preventing from just walking out. Maybe it's losing people. But that would logically mean their next best way of finding a way out is going through the underground. But as Captain Lewis said, there's an entire underground network. They could very easily use that. So. I will give you guys this. There is a distinct chance they might have already left. And no one just saw them, right? Because they didn't go on the streets. They went on the underground. The other thing is that they found something underground that can sustain them. So they'll need to leave. What that is, that's not clear. Whether or not they're still here is also not clear. But that would explain why Mr. Correll hasn't seen them, because he's been street sleuthing, not underground sleuthing. And there you have it. Will we get any, from this 30-plus combined thing, any idea of what to look for on the surface level? For evidence of, like, oh, they dipped, or oh, they're underground somewhere. That's an interesting question. The most logical thing would be that they would, similar to how you guys use the tunnels, go from an already underground source and make their own tunnel or tap into the underground network. So, would it be immediately visible? No. And given how chaotic the streets are, looking for signs of people running or moving is... Congratulations. You you found found it. Yeah, you, you found it, right? A good way, although it's still not the best, is finding bodies. 
shamblers preferably, but any bodies that seem to have impact marks from, say, a pickaxe. Right? Because a pickaxe, can, if it can crack stone, it can crack bone. <laughs> That's fun. Said it once, and, I'll say it again. <laughs> <laughs> and as Dead Space has proven, mining equipment can very easily be turned to more combat purposes. So if you guys manage to find bodies that have such impact marks, that would give you not only where they've been, but you could track that set of prints and follow it. But you just have to know where the trail... You have to have a starting point for the trail to begin following it. Because there's like a bajillion trails. Which one's the right one? This will tell you which one the right one is. Hard okay, what's a workshop brain? <laughs> It's a good, good Bloodborne reference. Good Bloodborne reference. My brain is saying something with like the 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 collapse exploded remains of like a building that we came out of. I got nothing for that. I don't have anything to connect. I mean, that. that like that would make sense. That would be a, a, I don't want to say sacrilegious, but it would be very as Captain Lois said. Like it's very very dangerous to bring explosives into this tunnel network, hmm. right? Path and of you, least resistance. And some and logic. The other thing as well for you bringing that up, Garth, is, well, I guess Jin, by extension, that tunnel wasn't collapsed. It was tapped into by an explosion, but the explosion wasn't in the tunnel, right? Or else okay. you guys wouldn't have been able to get out of it. Now, they, they could have just climbed down and something happened there, right? But they probably wouldn't have been carrying around explosives anyways. Hmm. The sewer system would logically lead out of the city. You want yeah, the shit and other stuff to out. leave. So if they don't want to work too hard, finding an access point from where they were roughly known to be overlapping with a sewer system would be a logical place to look. That would be a logical place to be in your efforts. So, the question is, do we want to <laughs> begin our efforts? <laughs> do we want to efforts. begin efforts in the mine direction, or do we want to, like, focus on the, um... That's the anecdote. I was under the impression that this is all information we're giving Mr. Corot. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it's... You guys have to find him, but... <laughs> right. He might be dead. Nah. Probably not. <laughs> he's he's in the like... rafters waiting to, like, jump someone and ask him... Ask them where his uh, daughter is. He's like a he's like a Pokemon trainer. He's gonna run across at super <laughs> speed. Isn't a Batman like, cosplay on? <laughs> Let me see my daughter. Where's my daughter? Don't dare stop, Mija. Don't dare stop, I'll detonate Don't dare stop, I'll detonate My name is <clears throat> Justin Crow. I have a very particular skill set. <laughs> set of skills. Set of skills. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so, so, where do you guys go to now? You have to disperse all this information amongst yourselves. Mm -hmm. Come to this conclusion. That would explain why Mr. Koro hasn't seen them. Uh, right. So, I guess if anyone sees a particularly sad looking gentleman, might be our Mr. Koro. Catch his eye, he'll recognize that he doesn't recognize us, and then probably ask us where his daughter is. <laughs> look around to see if there is a sad gentleman. <laughs> roll, roll perception. <laughs> I feel like it's more roll luck at that point. <laughs> there, I didn't make a token for Mr. Kuro because I didn't think he'd be that important. Yeah. He's you tell us there's a sad, sad man looking for his child? Of course we're going to hyperfixate on this. I, 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 I guess so. 19? Uh... Yeah, he's right there. It's okay. <laughs> he's right behind you, actually. God. You can he's see him talking. You could see a man that does look disheveled and sad talking to a guard. And the guard is being very professional, but also is not having any of it. Yeah. He's off outside the gate. Looks like this guard might have just come back from some patrol. Would make sense how you'd be asking, man. Uh, while, while, basically while uh, Hawk is giving that description 
uh, Jim would just like give like a short whistle and just nod his head in that direction. Well, there we have it. That's one sad looking man. Very sad. Appropriately sad. By his nods. <laughs> and seems to be talking to a guard that just got back. What makes sense he would be asking him? You can see the guard has two other compatriots that likely were part of the same patrol waiting for the interrogation, I guess you call it, to end. <laughs> well, you guys... I'll be honest. I don't much feel like talking to a man who is so grief struck. I'm going to try to see if I can find anyone who knows anything about the anarchists. I'm going with that one. Now it's towards you. <laughs> So who goes up to, to make me assume to be Kuro? Roll stealth to avoid depressed father. <laughs> I can go speak up with him. I'll join you. Very well. Uh, best of luck in your own questioning. Hopefully we find something something tangible, so to speak. God willing. So, Eva, Karadok, anyone else? Uh, does... Uh, oh. What's his name? Fox? No. Fios? Uh, Fios. Fios, why... No, not you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Fios, I don't know why his brain completely <laughs> dipped from my brain in a second. <laughs> Uh, um, th does Fias uh, seem to want to go a particular direction? No. Hmm. He will flex pick. Damn it, that's what I was gonna do. Well, too bad, he's the NPC, you're the player. <laughs> this is a long stare down. Um, I'm, uh, it, it'd be almost hypocritical to not look for information to the, uh, the anarchist, considering Jin wanted to vote for that, so that's where he's gonna go. Very well. So let's go to Karadok first. I imagine it's going to be a relatively short conversation. Karadok, you and Eva begin walking up to this distraught man who's in the midst of frantically but also tiredly asking the guard if he had seen someone. And the guard quite clearly hasn't. Nor has this been the first time to be asked such questions. I'm sorry, Mr. Koro, but as I said, nothing. Are you sure? I. Uh, you took a new route, right? That's what you just said? Well, you did, sir, but. But no, just because it's a new route doesn't mean there's new results. I understand, but. And that's when you guys get closer. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Koro, it sounds like we have some people here with us. Can we help you? We're actually looking to speak with Mr. Koro here. He lights up. Oh. The guard leaves, but he leaves the conversation, but he stays nearby. With along with the other three. You could hear with her passive perception. Oh holy fucking shit. Do you really think they these guys found some? Someone loved her description. Shh. Hey. Yeah. Hello, hello. I I'm my my uh, uh Mr. Corot. Uh Justin Corot. I he looks you up and down. Hi, I, I, you're Eulonian. That is correct. And you That's as well. Correct. She nods. I, I have, I, my, my ancestors, that you could tell from my last name, Koro. I, we were Eulonian once upon a time. Uh, uh, how, how, how may I assist you, sir? Um, Actually, before before we get there, by chance, would you happen to have seen a young woman like like yourself, Miss, like yourself, um, different colored hair though shorter? She she always insists on keeping it short. Um, hair color like mine, and he pulls and tugs at a lock of his dirty blonde hair, sort of like mine, short, uh, green eyes, uh, like like her mother, but. Um, uh, she she likely is in a bit of a ways, dirty, rugged gear. Um, but 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 I'm sure she's she's always been clever. So so, uh, have you seen anyone like that? Have I? <laughs> oh, no no. 
No. You guys have not seen many. You guys have not seen many individuals that aren't guardsmen or renegades. Or some other alternative form of renegades or shamblers. This has definitely been a con concentration of civilian population. I'm afraid I have not seen anyone of that description. Oh. But that That's is fine. probably good news because I came from the Plague District not too long ago. Oh! Uh, 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 yes! I'm I'm am sorry. I, you you came because you because you uh, had something to ask me. Uh, rather than just me jumping to the questions that I want answered, what what this young woman you're looking for? Who is she? Your daughter? My daughter, Janine. Uh, what, Janine? Janine. Her her mother always. <clears throat> Never mind. If you find my Janine, I would be forever indebted to you. I don't have a habit of collecting debt. So if I do find her, consider that debt forgiven. He begins tearing up. Thank you. I hope by the new man she's all right. She she always had a habit of sneaking off. And I suppose now is no exception. But she always came back. Always. Hope can be a persistent candle, but make sure you nurture it. Because yeah. candles can fade. Mr. Corot, yes, pray tell, your daughters, um, with an individual like yourself, quite, uh, negotiative. Was she like you? Did she talk with many people? Oh, yes, yes, she was, she, she had many friends. Mm, by, by chance, I'm sure you've already looked at where their abodes had been. Mm-hmm. Eva thinks it had to say this politely. There, you knew all her friends? No, not not all of them. No, this is the closest ones. Would by chance she have had more friends like her own disposition, ones that sneak off and do things without other people's knowledge? Oh, but I, 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 I. I, I I hope not. Evil gives you a look, Karadok. Maybe she found shelter with one of them, and they put the pension for for disappearance to proper use during such a, a crisis. Did she happen to know any of the uh, miners that have disappeared? The, the mine? No, 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 no. no she, the, the, the mines are. No, they're a rather brusque, brusque group. You know, so they 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 kept to themselves, and um, I mean, so so what are the, the well, you you're not from here. Uh, the, the 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 miners had some, I guess you call them strikes recently. So they definitely he ah, he does like a chopping motion. Just you know, cut cut away the, the bad friends and kept the good ones. I see. Yeah, it seems so, so long ago. In a, in an emergency, would you say that your daughter would be keen on finding a way out of the city? I would assume yes. I, 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 roll inside. Hmm. I roll advantage because he was he would probably help you. Ooh! 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 That's better. Ooh! Ooh! Let me add that to Yeah all list of crits. 
say. Am I, uh, it's my second net? There's your, yeah, you tied it up. You tied it up. <laughs> Perfectly balanced. As all things should be. Uh, there is something that he is not willing to say when you ask him that. Uh, Mr. Mr. Kuro, I, I do not ask from a place of judgment. I can clearly see your distress. If I am able to help, I would like to help. If you know something. <sighs> she would come back for me, wouldn't she? If she could. Perhaps she's not in a position to return yet. He nods. I... I know Captain Lois has said that she might be up north, but... But... <laughs> he the reason I... The reason I asked if she knew any of the miners is because we have a theory about how... They might have disappeared. The miners? Yes. Well, let's... Let's hear it then. I tell him about the discussion we had earlier. And I add that if she had an opportunity to bring herself to safety with them, she might have done so. <laughs> and if they had left underground, he wouldn't have seen anything. Hmm... That might well be the case. Hmm. You're giving an old man like me hope. He is not old, by the way. He's like mid-30s, late-30s. He's not old or decrepit by any means. Probably feels it, though. Oh, absolutely. He looks ragged. <sighs> I... She didn't hang around with the miners, though. But what if she did? What if she did? Are you... by chance going down underground anytime soon? No, I'm afraid... Me and my compatriots have business elsewhere. They've decided to try and negotiate with the anarchists. I see. Um, it's for what purpose? It's, it's... <sighs> he looks around. I, I wouldn't... <laughs> they... <laughs> I wouldn't label them, so... So, so blanketly. Some of them are, <laughs> are just trying to get by. I would know. They're not. Would... The intent is to negotiate on uh, behalf of Captain Lois, and that's a different discussion. They're not fond of the guards. Before they were anarchists, and after they became them. Um. Supplies, as I'm sure you're well aware, are running short. Right. 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 And in order to protect everybody here, supplies are needed. Would the guards, the anarchists, deliver supplies? Perhaps a middleman could be more tolerable. Maybe. But who would... Would yourselves as middlemen be? Escorts? Perhaps. I do mm. not yet know what the others have in mind. Uh, I, I just don't imagine they would... It's, 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 it's all... It's all it's, it's, it's subjective. It's... it's Search? No, not search. It's 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 it's. You get what I mean? 
I do. Tell you what. Mm -hmm. If you happen to have any information regarding on how to find someone who would be amenable to a civil conversation amongst the group, we would very much appreciate that information. And while we might not be heading underground anytime soon, uh, one of our one of our group is going to look for the miners. If you find the scowling lady with the uh, strange accent over there, and I point to uh, the hospital, the college, uh, her name is Mina, and you volunteer your help, they might have, a, uh, you know, a destination that aligns with your intent. Mm. Make me a persuasion roll. Uh, do so with advantage. Ooh. Oh, wait, she is. I forgot. Yeah, I, I, I thought that's yeah, what that's you were trying to. That's me off as well. Yeah, that's what I thought you were like, oh, she could detour or something like that. I mean, maybe. <laughs> it might be more potential than us. I don't know. I mean, like, it's a, it's a point. Oh, forgive me. It was not Mina, but... I know that Captain Lois does intend to send somebody looking for the miners. You could join them. I got mm. my tasks mixed up. Mm. If Captain Lois would have me. I know I've been insistent lately. But if you could speak to her, I would, I would appreciate it. I can certainly try. No, it's, thank you. <sighs> Janine, where? I'll wait here and if 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 the captain is so so fitting, so willing, I'd 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 happily help. Um, especially if my daughter's down there. But but um um, you were asking for for, for a, a person, a, a contact, yes, with the anarchist. Yeah. Yes, uh, someone who's amenable to a civil conversation, uh, and perhaps where to find them. Let's find out. Ooh! Oh my good god! You didn't even need the advantage technical. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to see the comparison, though. He thinks for a moment. There might be someone. There's... Uh, I'll just throw him. I'll just throw him. Um... Just... He thinks about this memory he's clearly pulling from. A while ago, a short while ago, I was doing as I do, looking, and I came... Across a group of, he sort of begrudgingly says, anarchists, and they were, they were in the midst of setting something up, traps most likely, but to each their own, I suppose. Um, I ran into them, and it was a very awkward exchange. The the three of them, the the one of me, and and I, I immediately began asking for. You know, Janine, and and I don't know. Perhaps they took pity on me, some something. I don't, I don't know. But they, they left, they left me be, and just said that they hadn't seen anyone like that, and if they did, they would let me know. Um, you could see out of the corner of your eye, Eva just give this pained expression, like it's, it's pitiful. Yeah. Kadar probably has the same expression. Um, what was his name? What was his name? Roger? No, not Roger. The end of an R. What was it? Rod, Roderick. Rod, 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 Rodrick. Rodrigue. Rodrigo. Rodrigo. 
Rodrigo was his name. He's, uh, was Peltonian. My bad. The Mentorian. Um, you could ask him. I saw him and his his people. Um, he begins pointing off in an eastern direction. There yonder. They were setting up, like, at the end, I don't know what traps or so fortification, but likely traps that they were setting up over there and down this, not this main street here, but the one next over that one. There is a, 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 a well space. Um, a, it's, it's very obvious. You could do, you could see that well, the signs are still there. If you find the signs, there is a, a little droplet sign that's, uh, I say sign, it's, it's, it's a sign, it's an icon carved into a cornerstone um, next to this alleyway larger than all the others. That will will wrap into this, this, this block in between this main street and that main street over there. That is where the well is, and that's where it lasts all them. That's, this was, this was... Uh, five days ago? No, no, no. Uh, a week. A week, I think. I don't know if he's still there, but... But... but yeah, I, that's... That's... All I know. That is very helpful. You have my thanks. <laughs> if you'll excuse me, I need to... Sit down a moment. It's been... Mr. Crow, one one last thing. Yes, I, yes. Reach, I hold my hand out for a handshake. Oh, he's being standing back up after sitting down on the curb. Takes your hand. Rather than that, I would squat down to where he's sitting and hold out my hand. He takes it. I genuinely hope you find your daughter. And if I happen to see her or any sign of her, I will let you know. And let her know that you're looking. Just... Make sure she's safe before you come looking for me. I nod. Thank you. And then in the language that I know that Eva understands, I say, I tell him. Nurture, nurture the, the, fuck, uh, nurture, nurture your flame of hope. He points a couple of times. What language is that? Sounds so uh, lovely. It's a... It's more... A bygone one. Uh... Keep saying it. It sounds amazing. <sighs> Adding in the same language, I say, I hope you find peace in the way that you're looking for it. He smiles, not knowing what you're saying. I give his hand uh, that I'm holding a little tap-tap with my other hand and let go. I'll go speak to the captain. Thank you. And off and away you go. That doesn't need to be a major conversation. 